our 50th anniversary of the park, and it actually adds 39th anniversary of being here. For you, for anybody that doesn't know, I want to introduce you to Ed Bolivar. He's the owner of the park, and his son David is with him, and his daughter Salome. Salome is our office manager. Ed was working with the Rotary, and they had bought a butterfly. And he told me about it, was really excited about the butterfly. And so I went over to the Art League and we looked at the butterflies and ordered one last fall. It got delivered right about the time that I got back here in October. And this has been a community project from the very beginning. Rod Scheiner is our uh, uh, retired art director, teacher, and he's been in charge of this project. And it's amazing, you know, he drew up designs, we voted on the design we liked best. Uh, everybody in the park that wanted to paint on it was able to work on this. Of course, he did a lot of the detail of the Oleander Acres, and there's another beautiful sign in our rec hall that Ron did. But we are so appreciative of everybody that worked on this project. On behalf of all the residents of the park, we want to donate this butterfly to Ed and his family and memorable for all the uh, people that live in our park and how much we love being here at Oleander Acres. So Ed, that's the donation to you. Well, I just uh, thought I couldn't pass up an opportunity without telling you a little story here. Uh, but anyhow, there was an anthropologist who had been studying the habits and cultures of a remote African tribe, and he'd been working in the village for quite some time. And, and the day before he was to return home, well, he bought a basket full of beautiful fruit and tied a ribbon around it, and he placed the basket under a tree, and when he gathered, then he gathered up all the children in the village, and the, and the man drew a line in the dirt and looked at the children and said, when I tell you to start, the first child that gets to the fruit can have the basket. And when he told them to run, they all took each other's hand and ran together to the tree. Then they sat down under the tree and enjoyed the basket of fruit together. The anthropologist was very shocked and he asked why. Why would they all go together when one of them could have all the fruit? And a young girl looked up at him and said, how can one of us be happy if one, if, if others are sad? And that's exactly what it reminds me of here in the park, is that it's one of, we don't have to travel to Africa, and we're able to, whenever we see somebody that needs help, we're there for them. And so it's a great, great uh, enjoyment I've had being here over the years to have that opportunity to be with all of you and realize how great it is here. And I thank you so much for the butterfly and this opportunity. Thank you.